Hey there riders, Motojuno Chris here and I thought I'd cover the announcement out of Ducati about the new Panigale V4 SP2 which essentially offers the most decked out and track specific Panigale out of the lineup. There's some seriously trick inclusions there too with the Panigale V4 SP2 to be a numbered special edition arriving in a winter test livery that's a nod to the drab colour schemes we see on their test machinery but including generous use of carbon fibre in some real eye candy. The price is a little eye watering at $56,900 here in Australia as far as the MSRP and that is right away or $59,495 in New Zealand with pricing in the US sitting at $39,500. We're yet to see official pricing for the UK however. To put that into a bit of context here in Australia at least, the H2R is priced at $67,999 while the M1000RR from BMW starts at $54,105 right away. So really the Ducati is in the ballpark and let's be honest, the popularity of exclusive limited edition motorcycles only seems to be growing. So what does the 2022 Panigal V4 SP2 get you apart from bragging rights? Well, carbon fibre rims for a start, a final drive and clutch setup derived from the brand's World Superbikes efforts, Rizoma race style rear sets and your carbon components to jazz things up. The overall look is pretty refined too, fairly dark with stylish highlights and small features that draw the eye. Very Italian and a far sight from the more gaudy special editions we see from some other manufacturers. The wings for instance are a work of art in carbon fibre with the Italian colours while the lower fairing runs the Ducati course logo for good measure. The top triple meanwhile runs the number of the bike from that run. A track kit is also included with the purchase and is, as the name suggests, designed for getting the SP2 into track ready form with mirror block off plates, license plate holder removal kit and an open carbon fibre clutch cover. Unfortunately, if you want the Acro exhaust system that's an accessory and available through Ducati as a full system in titanium saving 5 kilograms of weight and boosting performance by 12.5 horsepower as well as the overall torque, that will set you back over 12 grand here in Australia. But it is also a very cool dual underseat pipe setup by the looks of it. There's also an underbelly full exhaust also available close to the $8,000 mark for comparison, saving a bit more weight but offering less power. The heart of the SP2 is of course the Desmo Sedici Stradale V4 measuring in at 1103 cc's and running the counter rotating crankshaft with 2022 seeing some tweaks to that engine, boosting power to 215.5 horsepower. You can add an additional 12.5 horsepower to that figure with that full acro system already mentioned bringing it to 228 in total. There's four power modes with 2022 promising better throttle response alongside better power and each gear has a dedicated torque curve. Alongside the track orientated gearbox introduced for the V4 for 2022 is also a race derived 520 chain and light and sprocket setup while the STM Evo SBK dry clutch is standard fitment over the wet clutch as seen on the V4S. One advantage of that setup is the ability to swap springs to vary mechanical engine braking. The chassis is the same aluminium front frame, swing arm and shell cast seat post all bolted directly to the engine while Olens provides the forks and shock running the smart EC2 objective based electronic suspension system. That's NPX25 slash 30 forks with race style pressurized cartridges and a TTX36 shock while the same brand provides the electronic steering damper. That objective based suspension system is according to Ducati at least more intuitive than the traditional clicker adjustment most of us are used to. The really eye catching feature is of course those carbon fibre rims with 5 split spoke design and saving 1.4 kilos in weight over the V4S's forged aluminium units. Ducati are saying inertia is reduced by 26% at the front and by a massive 46% at the rear to put that into perspective. And of course that's unsprung weight. Brembo Stylema R calipers are also fitted alongside a Brembo MSC radial pump and remote brake lever adjuster with three customizable configurations available from that master cylinder. Another nice touch is the levers being milled to reduce air resistance. 
the Rizoma rear sets are fully adjustable and another very cool inclusion in anodized aluminium with carbon fiber heel guards to match the rest of the bike. Apparently better ground clearance, better grip and better ergonomics are all benefits here. Electronics are split into four fairly track orientated modes with race A, race B, sport and then finally street with a 5 inch TFT display and special track Evo display mode which gives the MotoGP experience for the owner. As in it's like what riders see on the MotoGP machines, not that it makes you ride as fast as one. Also standard is the GPS module which allows automatic lap timing and the Ducati data analyzer which does as the name suggests. An accessory extra is the Slick Ducati Performance software which adds DTC curves specifically for slicks and rain tires as well as the ability to memorize 5 tracks and add 5 fully customizable riding modes. The whole electronic system is also extensive including riding modes, power modes, cornering ABS EVO, DTC, DWC, DSC, EBC, auto tire calibration, Ducati launch or power launch I should say, DQS, up and down, Ducati electronic suspension by Olens, as already mentioned, and I think that may be it. The 2022 Ducati Panigal V4 SB2 is a single seat motorcycle with an 850mm seat height for reference and weighs in at 173 kilos dry or 194.5 kilos wet if we're looking at a more realistic figure. Fuel tank capacity is 17 litres and consumption is listed at 7.6 litres per 100 kilometre, which I'd guess probably isn't measured going down to the store to buy milk. So overall, a seriously tricked machine from Ducati that's a little bit special. Let me know what you think of the new edition and as always stay safe out there and thanks for watching.